people who have severe conditions that affect their ability to stand and walk or run aren't even themselves aware of how much it affects them because they're so used to it. And so they just think that's the way it is. I have Charcot Marie Tooth disease. I have Charcot Marie Tooth. It's a neurological disorder. Well, I did have a stroke at birth. Was in the military and ended up being disabled. And so I have uh, spina bifida. What happened is I started falling all the time. The uh, atrophy just got worse and worse. And I couldn't even walk, really. I couldn't even uh, run, run or jog or do anything, really. If you can't stand with stable balance that's comfortable and you can't walk with continuous momentum, then the choices on what you can do are so limited that your life becomes smaller. You know, you can't do things so you choose not to. And then because you chose not to, your conditioning diminishes and then you can't do even more things and you choose not to do even more. And so it spirals and it might be fast or slow, but it's definitely down. I was walking and a friend would say, what happened? Did you trip over your own feet? And I said, gosh, it kind of felt like that um, because I would just go down for no reason. It was, it was exhausting to walk and do things. The braces that I provide for people, really what they do is harmonize a whole series of mechanical things so that they all work together in the right way at the right time so that a person can have choices that are normal. If those things are not harmonized and they're not working and you can't stand with stable balance and you can't walk with continuous momentum, then every time you get out of a chair, your first thought is, how far is it till I can sit down again, till I can hold on again? And when you can take that need to think those thoughts out, then it's a different life. It was just a whole different feeling, like there's energy. You wanted, I wanted to walk. Um, within probably about three months, I took a trip down uh, to Orlando. And in three days, I did Disney World and Universal and Epcot. I was pretty much walking on my feet all day. And um, those I was with said, this is just like a miracle. This brace gave back a lot, and I, and I realized that, you know, my, my activities overall were, were a lot better. I also do swing dancing, so, I'm, I'm, so I keep very active with, with that standpoint. I got back into swing dancing. I mean, the biggest portion, uh, for a while I wasn't doing it because I was having chronic issues with the foot and the brace, and, and I just felt that it was, it was dragging me down. This brace allowed me to get back right into it. It's like night and day wearing the DBS compared to any other kind of brace. So for people that have any need to have AFOs, this bracing system enables people to stay active, to be able to walk normally, and to want to walk. How you are to other people that you walk with. People that have these conditions are always the slowest person in any crowd, even if the crowd is just two people. And when you're not the slowest person anymore, it feels good. And it's Similar to the feeling of being able to stand with stable balance and answer your door and meet somebody and shake their hand eye to eye. It's a, it has to do with a feeling of dignity and a feeling of you're in control of your body and your environment more than it's in control of you. And uh, it is just incredible. The I ne never had such a normal gait in, in walking and uh, the balance and, you know, it's, it's far less tiring. This past May, um, my family and I uh, did a, uh, a family trip to, to Yosemite. We, we all grew up there, so I mean, Yosemite is no, um, uh, uh, it's not something that we're uh, unfamiliar with. We're, you know, I, I know that valley like the back of my hand. And uh, I did an eight and a half mile hike to uh, the base trail of Half Dome from the valley. I've never done that before, you know, and it, it, with this brace that, that, that John had made, and it was absolutely fantastic, and I realized that there are things now that, that doors that I don't think I'd ever knew existed now that I think that I can start looking at. And so I've started to do hikes with friends and, uh, and it's, it's working out very well from that standpoint. With these braces, I was able to walk up, get my ward, go sit down, 
feel confident. And afterwards, with the dinner dance, I was up and dancing for the whole night. I mean, I five years ago before this, I would sit out at any festive occasion. I was the one still sitting at the table, you know, looking at people dancing, thinking that part of my life's over. Oh my gosh, I wish everybody could have one. I wish everybody could experience the life-altering, life-changing, life-freeing from being kind of contained in a cage, per se, um, to being able to go out and kind of run and jog. It's, it's wow. Oh, it's a game changer. It had, uh, I was, you know, looking at having to do less and less in the practice of law. And um, I still, um, you know, have less capabilities than I did 10 years ago, but any 64-year-old has less cap capabilities than 10 years before. I've had people tell me they go to do their Christmas shopping this time and they don't even realize they're telling me that they, they did something that they could never have done before. And I know it because I review their notes before they come and I know what they couldn't do. And when they tell me and they're not even aware of that, that, you know, I just did something remarkable for me. But it feels normal and so I'm just telling it as if, of course everybody does this. That, that's when it's integrated into your life. And that means that person is on a trajectory that will hold. And the good things will last as long as the mechanical device lasts because they have built into their life the purpose of the functional outcomes, which is to do things that are good to do.